Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is Prophetic Intercession with Amel, and I'm pleased to come your way again with another word from the Lord. If this is the first time you're seeing me, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I pray it blesses you in the name of Jesus. And so God was teaching me about something, and he said, the reason why your enemies have too much power over you is because you have given them that power. How did you give them the power? By letting their words, by concentrating on the negativity they present to you. God says I should announce to someone he has given you victory over them. He has given you victory over them and everything they are doing are just waves. If you can look beyond the waves, you are going to have amazing strides. If you can look beyond the wave, you are going to do amazing things. All they are doing is noise. God has given you victory over them. God has dethroned your enemies. And it is, it is with that knowledge that you're going to conquer. He said to you, come. And that come, he said, created ice blocks, turned the water into solid ground, and you could walk on it. But your enemies gain power when you start looking at the wave, and you are scared of what they are saying. You are scared of what they are doing. You start sinking. The word of the Lord is enough to set you on course. It is above every limitation. When God gives you a word, it is above every limitation. It sets you on course. But when you start listening to what your enemies are saying, you start paying attention to what they are saying, you're going to start drowning. Just like it happens to Peter. He began to shake, but God had already told him, come and created a tar road on the water. He was able to walk on the water because his focus was on the word come and not on the waves. The water itself is, fr is frightful. It is not something that you can phantom to say you walk on water. But God gave him a word and he set out on course. And every other thing that came was a distraction. It made him to focus on the wave rather than focus on the word of God that has told him to come. God says he has dethroned your enemy. Do not give them the throne again. He has dethroned them. Do not give them the, the throne. Do not crown them. Do not pay attention to what they are doing. They are just waves. They have nothing to do with you. They have been defeated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray this word gives you resistance. I pray this word gives you the courage to be able to look beyond the waves and focus on the word God has given you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, little one.